Hey everyone. So, today we're finally starting, well, I shouldn't say finally because it's, it hasn't been like forever, but it, it kind of feels like forever to me, even though it's been a day, uh, well two, but we're finally starting Higurashi Watanagashi, or Higurashi When They Cry Watanagashi, which is chapter two of the original Higurashi arc. And I can't wait. <laughs> I'm really excited to actually start this. Now, uh, before we begin, uh, I guess a few things uh, to cover, uh, especially for those who are watching on YouTube later, for some reason, or ma mainly for them, I should say. <clears throat> if you, for some reason, haven't seen part one or chapter one, please go watch that. This is chapter two. You will have no idea what's going on. Also, I'm going to be a little more direct uh, with my, not with my thoughts, but maybe with my reactions, I should say. By that I mean, I'll probably not keep them all to, like, till the end of the stream like I normally do. Because the, the first chapter kind of sets things up, it's the prologue. Chapter 1 starts to show shit. Uh, if it's something major, right, I won't, but I, I it might slip, you know. It, you know, I, I might slip up a little bit. And, of course, uh, since this is the first episode in the series this will be time stamped on youtube later on uh in a little bit i'm going to talk about my theories that i had for higurashi before uh we get started for anyone that is joining uh or for anyone that is uh you know familiar with the franchise <clears throat> that way uh you kind of have a general idea as to like what i'm thinking of otherwise again if for some reason you don't want any of that shit spoiled i guess just skip ahead to when the game actually starts on youtube otherwise uh, for those of you that are here live, well, you're gonna you're gonna hear it anyways. <laughs> so, once again, I have four main theories for Higurashi, right? Um, for the first chapter, at least, and all of them depend on what type of world this is. By that I mean whether or not this is a visual novel where, you know, the spiritual world, for example, is real. By that I mean, uh, like, Oni are real, spirits are real, gods are real, you know, things something like Shin Megami Tensei, where it, it, everything looks normal, and then all of a sudden, bam, there's, you know, there's creatures everywhere, right? Uh, like, gods from different, like, pantheons start to arrive and then take over and shit. Right? So it could either be that, or if it's a normal world where none of this actually happens, and it's just typical Japan, by, th by that I mean, like, normal 2002 japan or well, 1985 japan right if it's that then you know either way so my theories are basically i've got four so going in order with one is i believe that keichi was murdered by the villagers at the end of the prologue so they basically raided his home they tampered with the note that he left they chased him down to the phone booth where he made a call to oish son and then they injected him with um, the untraceable drugs. <clears throat> and that results in him like clawing at his throat and killing himself. Um, however, this could also be fake because like I've mentioned before, like coroners would find any like mark or any indication that he was drugged or that he was injected with something. So, you know, <laughs> um, that's that's theory one. That that's that that's just what happened. He just got you know surrounded by villagers. They killed him, right? Uh, chapter two, or sorry, theory two. The curse is real, but the curse isn't really a curse. It's more like people think it's a thing, and it affects them mentally in some way, shape, or form. Where, where the actual villagers have some sort of split personality, or they have some mental instability uh, that causes them to just transform into a quote-unquote another person and causes them to act out you know there's like something in the in the in the water in in um Hinami, hinamizawa and like literally that's turning them into like these weird people theory three which i believe is probably going to be kind of close is that keichi is just hallucinating the whole thing like all of this is in his head literally uh, that he's paranoid due to, like, hearing of the events, of the dam killing, and then how everything starts to fall in place, and so on and so forth. 
Elena and Mion were actually just gonna like take him to a doctor. Uh, like like they actually called for a doctor. They were gonna take him to like a mental institute because he's he's been acting fucking weird, and that's kind of what happened to Satoshi, and that's what uh Demon the Way actually means that they all literally just get sent to to a mental institution. And then the final one, which is the more most far fetched one in my opinion, but it it could be it could be fucking real. I don't know. We I will find out. We will find out together. Unless you're watching, unless you're watching this and you've already played through the series, then you're laughing your fucking ass off right now. But my last option or my last theory for now is that KG can time travel, and he's stuck in this Groundhog Day scenario, where anytime he stops time, like Dio, uh, it, it's him actually making a new choice, or it's him trying to somehow change the past. Like him being able to retroactively hear things in his mind when he thinks really hard about a memory, which could be him actually hearing the stuff like when he's in the supermarket uh, and he's running around with the fucking with the uh, with the ginger like pork uh, ramen and he's able to hear someone's footsteps behind him in his mind. It could be that he can actually do that. It could be that he's traveling back in time to that moment and basically listening really closely or he's so far gone <laughs> he's so fucking far gone that he's like imagining these footsteps um but yeah it's him trying to make like a new choice and try not to get caught or do something wrong like in past scenarios so he can kind of figure out like the real mystery and like who's who's actually doing all this shit like that's what i assume might be going on so those are those are my four short theories right like I said, we talked about this more uh, a while back when we did the um, the podcast uh, two days ago. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it should be whatever like the last part of the Higurashi uh, Chapter 1 video series is. Because um, I'm going to be uploading this, of course, afterwards. <clears throat> and it's um, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, one thing I have not confirmed is whether or not the opening... Uh, scene that plays for each unique chapter is different or if they are all unique or sorry or if they're all the same uh, i believe they might all just be the same and if so well we're not going to watch the intro we'll just skip it um but we will we will find out i guess i'll, I'll confirm that and then maybe show it off for, for next time unless one of you can confirm it <laughs> but let me swap over to the game real quick yeah, uh, chapter two does look like it's going to be really crazy, so I hope it doesn't drive me crazy. <laughs> um, also, this is a different background because uh, I did modify and change the backgrounds. I'll still be doing that thing where I show off the different backgrounds and different sprites uh, for uh, different scenarios if they are new and not reused assets. Uh, so this is what the background normally looks like in the classic uh, version. Uh, this is what it originally looks like. And then we have this. If we go to this and we go to uh, console backgrounds. So this is what it would have looked like if you would have bought the game for the console version. So this looks like an altar. And I'm going to guess it's Oyashiro Samas. Uh, if I were to just take a guess. I'm sure, if I, I'm sure if I translate the kanji on those lion statues, it'll tell me exactly what the fuck this is. Um, but I'm I'm trying not to look at them in case I recognize any part of the kanji, <laughs> so as to not uh, spoil myself. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try to do that. I assume that, I mean that that is kind of a spoiler if I'm honest. Uh, so I'm not gonna read it out loud, but uh, or I assume that might be like a spoiler because of just the wording. <laughs> But that probably answers a question that I've already had in my head. Uh, but let's go ahead and start. Uh, like I said, I don't know if the intro cutscene is uh, the same for this game. And if it is, then I mean, I'm, I'm still going to skip it. And if it's not, we'll show it next time when we stream and we'll have that, you know, play out at the beginning. So for now, let's just go ahead and start. Well, Higurashi. Watanagashi. <laughs> So this is the typical, the typical, um, like intro that we get, the order that I've learned that we get in, in this franchise, where you get some sort of like little intro and then a difficulty. <clears throat> now, one last thing to note, 
before I forget. Apparently, the chapters in this, in this, oh, sorry, the sub chapters in this chapter, as in what we're going to be playing through, uh, it's the same length as Onikakushi, but they are longer. So we're probably just going to be doing one chapter per stream, meaning that it's going to take us about three weeks to get through this because there's about 12 of them. Uh, and then and the ending is like super fucking long or something. And that's going to be I might actually do that one on a weekend. So we just go for as long as we fucking want. <laughs> so I might, I might sacrifice a day of fatal frame so we can uh finish this game but either way watanagashi the most possibilities cotton drifting chapter how is your taste of life in hinamizawa a curse or a conspiracy i believe you have fully enjoyed everything and everyone seeming suspicious here at last it is no surprise attack but a real direct incident Please enjoy it. The difficulty is lower than Onikakushi, but extremely vicious. And again, this is something I didn't learn until later on, but what they mean by difficulty is like how hard it might be for you to piece together what's going on officially. Again, Onikakushi, it, it, it's super hard for you to like guess like or to try to like come to a, a cohesive like conclusion as to like what the hell's actually going on because of it just giving you a lot of like loose ends right which will be tied as the series goes on meanwhile um I, I assume this game will give you a more direct plot conflict i don't know so we'll see if we play as keichi i mean they they did say that he was the protagonist of the second game who knows i, I have again if, if this really is a groundhog day incident then i mean i guess we're about to find out Let's go ahead and start. It is going to play an intro cutscene probably, and we're going to skip it again because I haven't gotten confirmation on whether or not it is uh, the same as it all, as same as the others. And if it is, just remember that it's going to have a fuck ton of spoilers. So I didn't watch it, but I let it play last time when we started part one. So if you want to watch it, if it is the same, then just watch the first part of Onikakushi. But either way. I will not quench your thirst, for you seek the truth, and I could not accept that. I will not quench your thirst, for the truth you desire does not exist. But I still want to quench your thirst, for I am the one who cast you in the, into the desert. Federica Bernkanstel. And then that'll work of fiction, right? AD 1983, the early summer of the 58th year of the Showa era. Okay, this is different. So again, don't watch if you don't want to get spoiled. Yeah. 
God. Like, sometimes I forget, like, how good the human body is. Because I had, like, my eyes covered for part of that, and I could still see bits and pieces from the corner of my eye. And I had to stretch my fingers over, like, my blind spots or whatever, like, the sides of my eye to completely cover them. So as to not see any of this, also while staring at my phone for a little bit. Because I, I was not expecting to be, well, bombarded with this. Also, sorry for the audio being incredibly loud at the start. Uh, but the second I saw the intro being a different color, I'm like, it's different, it's different, fuck. Uh, I have to lower the audio while also not looking at my screen. Uh, <laughs> it was so fucking annoying. Um, <laughs> um, but. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> God damn. Uh, yeah, that intro was pretty good. Like, I, I like the music for it. The music for it was, was really catchy. So it was nice listening to it. And I'm glad that I did not, uh, I did not see any of it. But again, remember, that shit is super spoiler. It will spoil a lot of shit. I, I still need to go back and watch the, the Onikakushi one, assuming that intro is only relevant to the first game. And that, it, and that this intro is only relevant to this game. So those are things that I should watch, like, at the start and at the end, just so we can get something cool. I don't know, assuming that's, that's how it's gonna be. <clears throat> anyway. The chirping of birds served as my alarm clock. Oh. <clears throat> there. Huh? Wasn't today Sunday? Wasn't it basically my style to stay up late on Saturday and sleep through the morning on Sunday? Why was I waking up at this dis disgustingly wholesome hour? Back to sleep, back to sleep. Wait, I remember this scene. At that moment, the sound of my mother calling me from downstairs finally registered. Phone call. I sprang up out of bed abruptly and stamped noisily down the stairs. He's awake. I'll put him on right now. My mother informed the person on the other end of the line. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Who might this be? <laughs> what a fucking way to answer. Oh, but right, they, they asked for us, I forgot. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it was 11 o'clock. I guess you could loosely consider that the middle of the day. Such a Reddit ant. That's such a Redditor response. De, oh my god, Keiji. <laughs> and then they translate it. <laughs> she says good morning. Uh, well, hold on. I'm pretty sure that says good morning. More, yes, because it's got the knee. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got knee in there. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Chiyan. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Ah, uh, okay, well, there we go. Soon, then, Chinese and Dutch and Russian can also speak. Hello, Chiyan. Good morning, Chiyan. Russian? ラズビーダーニャ。いるわけないでしょ。まあいいや。バカな話してたら目が覚めた。そりゃ結構なことで。でさ、ケイちゃん今日暇。ケイちゃん、今日暇。ケイちゃん、今日暇。ケイちゃ
、うん、つまり休日だろうとお構いなしってわけだおおケイちゃんも我が部のことが分かってきたねレザーこれさ Had absolutely nothing planned that day. If I were to refuse Club President Mion's invitation, what other fun ways to pass the time would I have? Let's see, you're the one who's 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 the But we could do them anywhere. Besides, since it was a new venue, there's no way this wasn't gonna be, this wasn't gonna be intense. A couple of days ago was Friday's club activities. The uncompromising poker match. It was a fight to the death. Nobody held back. Nobody could tell who was in the lead or who was in last. Who was last until all the points are tallied. In the end, I won by only one chip. Myon came in second. Damn it. To think if I hadn't squandered that one chip. Myon lamented this. Uh, Myon lamented this. Perhaps more so than the fact that she lost the match. Myon doesn't lose. That's why Myon only whined when she let the champion's throne slip through her fingers. That's why she was more frustrated than anybody over a, over a close loss. So, did she mean for today to be a grudge、uh, to be a grudge match? After that, we exchanged、uh, jeers for a bit before hanging up on the phone. Or before hanging up the phone. As I headed back upstairs hastily to get、uh, the key to my bike, I bumped into my mother as she was carrying a futon. Oh, Keiichi. Joke game, みたいね Oh, they got it? Zonna to go. Ore, me not to match in your sobby need to go. Itera, shit. Kurumani kills get in oil. You have money in your kite to go in oil. Hey, hey, chanto kite to go there. After unlocking the chain from my bike in the garage, I reveled a bit in the resistance. Sorry, in the resistance the slightly stiff pedal gave as I pushed on it. Alright, let's go. I set off on my bike, cutting through the refreshing morning air. That sounds so nice. Hey, it's good! Oh, so you, so you! Oh, I'm not sure. 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 直接町で合流した方が早いよ。Oh, I see. If I remember correctly, Satoko and Rika chan's houses were on the other side past the school. そうそう。町で部活ってどういうことだよ。まさか、みんなで覆面をして日が暮れるまでにいくつ銀行が襲えるかっていうのじゃねえだろうな。<笑> yeah. It's kind of weird, huh, Keiichi? 別にそれでもいいけど。<笑>それでも私は負けないけどね。みーちゃんってねなぜか現金輸送車の順路とか時間とかをいつもレナに教えてくれるんだよなんでだろうねなんでだろうねはあ s p u n around with a serious look on my face and looked at Mion Oh well, it certainly seemed possible that Mion was capable of doing that マジかよ、Mion レ、レーナー<笑><笑>
The three of us on our bikes headed over to the, over the gently sloping hill towards town. Accelerating hard, we crested the hill. I don't think we've seen this background either. Before. This might be new. I think the last one was too, but I kind of was a little eager. So I skipped ahead, but let's look at the console background. This one looks a little interesting. At least from an artistic point of view. Oh. Um, like, I feel like there should be more shadows in the scenery that's further distant on the top right. But that's that's just me being nitpicky. <laughs> anyway, back to console page. And I believe this is also new. Imagine selling a game nowadays that has a Yamaha store in the background <laughs> without their permission. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, like here it got, it got changed. What does that say? Brownwood tire. <laughs> The view expanded as Okinomiya Station came into sight. I occasionally come to the station here. Considering the amount of effort it takes to get here though, it was quite a hassle. That's why I don't know much about the area around the station or Okinomiya itself for that matter. The street we were, sorry, the street we were headed down today was of course unfamiliar to me as well. Going through the railway crossing, we headed past the south, the south end of the station. ね、ゲームセンターとかおもちゃ屋さんとかがいろいろあるの。みーちゃんが詳しいよ。ゲーセンもあるのか。俺、前は結構通ってたからな。ゲーマーの違う、うずくぜ。ゲーセンが良いな
This is something that you as a viewer are able to experience at least once. You're able to see this moment in time, which is a memory to the author, but it's something that we get to take a peer into. We get to look into his memories for a moment and see this, this store that he probably went to or that he visited or that was near him or something. And it's a very, very like relaxing concept to me, which is why I really do like photographs. As simple as this might be, this is just a picture that some dude took again in 2002. <laughs> but anyway, also thanks, uh, thanks Angelina so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by and you too, Bo. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the uh, the console background for this. <clears throat> and this, while it does look nice, I feel like it does lose a little bit of the charm. I do really like those uh, stairs on the back, though, uh, especially on the original image. They look so cool, like because this is just some store next to like an apartment building or an apartment complex or something. And I don't know, there's something neat about it. And the little gotcha bomb machines are funny. <laughs> there's a little rabbit because of course there's always like cute rabbits and aliens what else like simple trucks and cars <laughs> anyway let's go back to the original backgrounds and then once again like like those stairs in the background i don't know there's just something really cool about it mm. <laughs> の通り。優勝賞金は5万円。5万円。なんだよそれ。計上王国の5年分の<笑><笑> cute figures messing about in the front of the store noticed us and waved their hands. What's the gremlins? I don't remember if we had um if we had seen these outfits before. I think we did. But here's a um, but here are the gremlins once more. <laughs> like I, I I forgot about these outfits completely. But there they are. And then let's swap to the console art style. And then this. Ugh. おはようございますなのです。ああ。おはよう、リカちゃん。さあとこ。警察が来る前に蹴りをつけるぞ。目標は10億強奪だ。ん警察の話がわかりませんわ。遅くなったかな。リカちゃんたちは今来たの今日は
悪い人はレナお姉ちゃんがやっつけてあげるからねあんなあ<laughs> I knew she was gonna fucking punch us. Uh, Keiichi, you practiced so hard to dodge your punches and you still got hit. Then I ecstatically whipped,、uh, wiped the tears, which were probably fake, from Satoko's face, while Rika chan gently patted mine as I laid sprawl on the ground. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, this is fine. <laughs> がかける前に新しいオチを探した方がいいと思うけどね。<笑> well then, up to Daisy. In any case, the greeting for today went well. Into the toy shop, there were about ten boys around the same age as me. Apparently, they all knew Mion, and finding out that she had arrived, they greeted her with jeers a few at a time. m i o ちゃんはこのおもちゃ屋さんの常連なの Oh, and I forgot to do this again. My bad. I, I, I keep wanting to show the backgrounds without,、uh, without any of the characters, but I just get too caught up in the, in the story. But here we go. I'm trying to see if I recognize any boxes in the background,、um, especially of like model kits that might appear. Oh, and then Rena with her persona out. But there we go. <clears throat> Uh, no, it seems like there's just a bunch of candy and like a Mazinger Z parody in the back. <laughs>、uh, oh, that teddy bear is cute! And the penguin! What else is there? Musashi. A 1 1200 scale model of something. And then. Munisamu. R8 81. So I think that's supposed to be just another Gundam parody. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I saw like a console back there, but let's see. Let's take one. Oh, yeah, there, there is an N64. You can, you can see the controllers right below the boxes in the middle.、Uh, you can see the green, gray, and、uh, dark gray controllers. And then the N64 is right behind them. Like right next to all those boxes that are stacked next to each other. There's an N64 which you can barely make out. <laughs> and this was. 2002, 2003, maybe late 2002, so it's pretty normal to still see N64s. I don't think the GameCube had come out yet, or it was about to come out, or it had just come out. And this is still a store using CRTs, so I, I, it, you know, it's normal for them to have like N64s. Anyway. Following Satoko's prompting, I took a look. There were chairs lined up at tables, almost like some sort of birthday party. Are they gonna play Magic the Gathering right now? And if they show up to play Magic the Gathering or Yu Gi Oh or some shit. Oh, wait, no, Magic didn't exist yet, and Yu Gi Oh did not exist yet. It's the 80s. Are they gonna play some fucking card game all the way back here? <laughs> That's my guess. I, I don't think Magic was popular until the late 90s in Japan. But these look like、um, either board game areas or、uh, like card game areas. But the chairs look really interesting as well. Hmm. Anyway, back to original. I realized it immediately. Expand his customer base. Ah, I see. Meaning, all the boys li、uh, livening up the place were participants. So, I don't know. 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 If it's fucking magic the gathering, anyways, I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> Then I was innocently happy about being able to play with so many people, but my expression grew noticeably stern. There's a new pose of her being smug, but like with her arms crossed. <laughs> oh my god, what a face! Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
言うぞせーのクジラが水を飲むとき、今飲んだ水の中に何匹シラスが混じっていたか、いちいち数えてると思う<笑> She said that in an unpleasant voice, laughing with the aggressive,、uh, with the aggressive glint in her eyes reserved solely for club activities. Damn it, Mion. She's as serious as she can get today. 本気なのは私だけじゃないよ。ほら。リカちゃんを見てごらんよ。ミオンポイント。looking looking at where the sorry looking at where her finger directed me。なんだあれ。リカちゃんは、using those kinds of those kinds of traits to soften up the group with an almost excessive pleasantness。僕も頑張るのですよ。Oh no, she's really serious。ファイト、もうなのです。<laughs> Oh no. Just the small Shinto priestess, like, like staring at you, like with a smile. Fighto! Oh! Completely emasculated, the group joined Rika chan in a cheer. The inside of the store had been consumed by the world of Rika chan. Damn, she's already chomping at the bit. <laughs> oh, and the best track is back. It seemed that Rena was also unusually fired up by the large crowd. Hopping about and running around, she entered in entirely、uh, into cute mode. In Rena's case, the real fun starts when her tension gauge fills up. <laughs> her happy go lucky attitude belied, or belied the fact、uh, that, this was, sorry, that this was the state in which she was the most threatening. Mion was making small talk with some of the regular customers she was acquainted with. It was like business as, business as usual with her. Of course, if anybody thought that Mion looked ordinary, they were not qualified to be in our club. <laughs> the shadow beneath her feet was exuding killer instinct, rising up like a chill wind. Mion, me. Hazi mo gaibu mo steru kura ni. Hon ki da na. Keiichi san, shira nai desu no? Shoukin no go ma yen. ミオンさんの自腹でしたよ。あ、はあ、she was putting out the 50k all by herself。at that moment a dark miasma that warped ミオン surroundings began to to appear。うん？ざわざわ。なに、けいちゃん。あたしの顔に何かついてる？ Ugh. A shiver crept up my spine. That Mion, cornering herself like that, she was pulling out the demon lurking within her. Ain't that foreshadowing? F -f Fine with me. Damn it, my knees are shaking like crazy. Before I realized that the store had filled up with, ev with even more people. However, the looks in their eyes weren't confrontational, they were looks of expectation and curiosity. They were the eyes of onlookers who were wondering what kind of match was going to occur and who was going to win. Heh, <laughs> Saiko no Budai Janeka. Almost looking at the Kiagataze. Moshiroi. She's like, she is raring to go. And then it was already fully charged, yeah. <laughs> Mortal laws and common sense held no power before the might of Rena in her cute mode. I definitely didn't want to fight her, if possible.
<laughs> Riku-chan, who was exuding way too much charm no matter how you looked at it, had already won over most of the onlookers on her side. Nonchalantly avoiding things had always been Riku-chan's creed, but for her to blatantly, uh, for her to be blatantly laying out her machinations like this, something was definitely strange. Like Rena, she was somebody who I didn't want to fight if I could help it. もちろん、一番戦いたくないのはミオンさんですけどね。何度か部活で奴と視線をくぐったが、今日ほどやばいと思う日はないぜ。ミオンさん、おとといのポーカーで負けたの相当根に持ってるみたいでしたよ。らし
紳士的に決めてほしいけどそういう時は店のマスターが決めるってのでいい It was an event at a toy store after all. You'd expect the owner to referee.、Uh, after, that, Mion,、uh, sorry, Mion, after that, Mion's rundown continued. It ended with the rule that any losing participants would have to buy the game they lost. A, sorry, sorry, a rather nice proposition for the store. That's not too bad. That's pretty cool. First, we used a draw to split into five groups. Everybody lined up single file and began to draw tickets、uh, that the shop owner had prepared. It was my turn. All right, time to draw. No matter who I was up against, I'd crush him. At that moment, Mion began to laugh with a hawkish gleam in her eye. <laughs> Contrary to how simple it sounded, it was a terrifying eventuality. The subject of which no one could predict. Damn you, Mion. Was she really planning on parading me around Hinamizawa in cat ears in a banana hammock with a tail attached or something? Oh my god. The look on Mion's face told me she was looking, she was going to let me off. She wasn't, sorry. God damn it, I can't read tonight. The look on Mion's face told me she wasn't going to let me off that easy. On top of that, this time, it wasn't just the person who finished last who'd have to submit to the penalty game. Aisha, one person, one person, one person. It's funny. ビリでなくても罰ゲームってことだな、うん、そういうこと勝者がない場合は部活メンバーが全員途中で脱落したらお流れか Don't we all suffer? <笑>ゲイちゃん飲みそは元気何<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> The look in Mion's eyes,、uh, sorry, Mion's eye became that of a lion bearing its fangs. Even so, I didn't feel threatened. The more into it, sorry, the more into it my opponent was, the stronger I would become. Me, t e r o ただミオンにいじめられてたわけじゃないってこと見せてやるぜ青ね決勝で The results of the draw were enough to make you cry conspiracy All the members of the club were nicely、uh, divvied up amongst、uh, the five tables How did this happen when the draw was that random? The thought I was already caught in Mion's puppet strings made me feel uneasy That was fine though I'll crush all your. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll crush all your petty tricks. Ugh, I can't read tonight. Now, where were my opponents? Everybody was headed to the table corresponding to the number on their ticket. The competition at my table was. These two, huh? They looked younger than me. Huh? Kamura kun greeted me by nodding his head. So, my opening round was to be against my juniors from school. Just saying, but it seemed like a pretty easy matchup. Lucky. Time to destroy them without mercy. With Mion's declaration, the inside of the store suddenly became lively. Everybody was yelling their favorite games at each other, trying to gain an advantage before they started. Even my two classmates, who seemed taxiturn at first glance, began to fiercely insist on their own games as soon as the signal was given. Of course, I would kick those suggestions aside. There was absolutely no reason to pick a game your opponent was going to pick. Of course, I didn't agree to the games I suggested either. I could only smirk bitterly. Naturally, after five minutes, this table still, this table still couldn't agree on a game. Obeying the rules, we asked the store owner to decide on the game. Clearing a stove, the shop owner brought over a board game from the back of the store. It was a game called Billionaire. Quite the vintage we have here. Come to think of it, if you lose, you have to buy this game. That damn shop owner was using this competition to get rid of all the games he couldn't sell. <laughs> <laughs> The two nodded in agreement, and finally the game was underway. 
At that time, I already had a feeling of impending crisis. I wouldn't realize why until this game progressed a bit. Oh my god. Are you gonna get beaten by 10 year olds? <laughs> They're playing the game of life? <laughs> okay, I've built a bit of a lead. Bonus! The tables were, tur were turned in an instant? Uh oh. Whoa, that's a good route. It seemed like only my piece was landing on, on the steady spaces. I had doubts as to why Mion didn't bring out board games for club activities, but the reason was laid bare to me before my eyes. That's right. I had only realized it now. This game was completely based on luck. What could, what could I possibly do to make sure I ended up in first place at the end? The ultimate outcome of this game was decided in a place beyond human hands. How were the other club members doing? My eyes naturally wandered off to the other tables. I'm pretty sure, like, Irena is, like, going nuts. Mion's table was... What? They weren't doing anything? Have they still not decided, decided on the game? This naive idea existed to distract me from the most frightening possibility. Mion was lounging about leisurely holding some juice she bought from the vending machine outside in one hand. When our eyes met, she gave me a look of ease. It couldn't be. She'd already finished? Him was it? That easily? It's probably too late to be concerned with, uh, with that at this point. Only five minutes since we started, and her two opponents were already beyond recourse. They were sitting there, slumped over in disappointment. Muttering to themselves, trying to figure out where they went wrong. For that, they'd find no answer. Was there any reason for their defeat only that they sat at the same table as Mion? <laughs> hmm, then what about Rena's table? The spectators were causing quite a commotion. It looked like their game was Karuta. The shop owner was apparently the one reading out the cards, and that tended to dawdle along uh, and space out a lot. Wouldn't she have a hard time with this game? <laughs> At the same instant that the shop owner began sending out the words, the card in question disappeared off the face of the table. No, the face of the earth. Impossible. <laughs> Where did it fucking go? <laughs> it was against Rena's cheek. She was rubbing it there. Looking at the card Arena was rubbing against her cheek, it was some anime themed version of Karuta, with rather cute more illustrations decorating the cards. Basically, it was a picture of a, of a pretty dog girl with a slightly large chest, uh, panting and half in tears as she was being pulled along on a chain. With those type of pictures, even I could play with godlike speed. <laughs> of all people to play that game, it had to be Arena. It was entirely possible that her fingertips were on the verge of breaking the sound barrier. So, it seems like, um, Karuta is they're, they're like Japanese playing cards um, and let's see so someone recites poems and it seems like you snatch the card and I believe you're able to like try to try to read the rest of the card like uh, like if you hear a part of the poem you're able to like recite the rest <clears throat> like you, you, you take the card and then you finish whatever they, whatever the, uh, the announcer was saying. Yon smiled coolly, seeing no further reason to keep watching. She turned back. <laughs> After that, the second the card started being read out, bam, bam. Such decisive sounds echoed. Oh my god. Well then, how about Satoko? Oh, she was playing a rather orthodox game. Concentration. <laughs> Judging from the distressed look on Satoko's face, it seemed that she was struggling somehow. One of the main characteristics of concentration is that the pace of the game speeds up as it goes on. 
As the number of cards to memorize decreases, it becomes easier to match several pairs in a row. It wouldn't be an exact sorry, it wouldn't be exaggeration to say that the first person to take over the flow of the match can run away as the winner. The cards still in play had decreased. If you memorize the cards that had to be turned over before, you should have a good chance to sweep the table at this point. Sadako probably knew the positions of all the remaining cards. However, her turn came a little too late. If her opponent followed up, the match would be decided. Oh, no. <laughs> this guy. Did he have the locations of the remaining cards memorized? I, I wonder. He was completely certain of his victory. The tension on his face uh, relaxed. <laughs> I whispered that in a bored manner as I turned my attention back to my own game. I spun the wheel. One, two, three, four, five. There was a commotion at Satoko's table as the shout rang out. The other two at my table turned around in surprise. I didn't. After all, there really wasn't anything to be surprised about. The onlookers were confounded, most of them certain that the Ace of Hearts should have been there. There's no way. I must be seeing things. It must have been because I was... Because I was excited. So assured in this victory that the stress over his defeat ran deep. Hmm. <laughs> That's how it is. If his opponent wasn't Satoko, then the Ace of Hearts certainly would have been there. What a fool. When you're up against Satoko, you can't let your guard down for a moment until the battle is over. <laughs> With a refined tone of voice reserved only sorry for only winners, Satoko called out to me. To the casual observer, it must have looked like she had only eked out a victory. From my point of view, however, she was only playing around. The roles of the winner and loser had already been decided. It was nothing more than child's play. Literally. The laughable part about it was that her opponent didn't know his role had already been assigned. <laughs> Satoko was a trapper. Her true talent was never having one misfire. Setting off only one trap was more than enough? <laughs> Ain't that cool. <laughs> The fact that the other club members were winning one after another with their own brand of play only added to my impatience at my own lack of progress. All oh, right, how's Rika-chan doing? How's her club activity, our club sly little fox doing? The heck is that? <laughs> uh, over in that corner, the mood at the table was decidedly different than the others. The game at Rika-chan's table was, you know that battery-powered fishing game. Huh? The one where the fish opened and closed their mouths as they rotated on the platform and you used the magnetic fishing rod to pick them up? That old thing? It seemed... It seemed they planned on competing by seeing who could catch the most fish, but... It had become an atmosphere you could hardly call competitive. <laughs> wow, it's <laughs> I knew that Rika-chan had already charmed her opponents along with the onlookers before the matches had even begun, but brilliantly played. That corner had become an informal meeting of the Rika-chan food of the Rika Food de fa Fan Club. Hearing that, she glanced over my way briefly. This is my way of getting serious. That's what I heard. <laughs> Only Rika chan can use uh, this cuteness. Yeah. A masterful technique. Oh my god. In contrast, my game was an was sorry, was God damn it. In contrast, my game 
What an unseemly situation this was. Noticing the uneasiness creeping across my face, my companions came to see how I was doing. Okamura, Okamura, who had rung, sorry, who had rung lots of money out of the elite course, began to count uh, through a stack of white one hundred thousand dollar bills. えっと、九十八万兆円くらいかな。富田はどれくらいお金持ちですか？うん、僕は八十八万ドル。まだまだ逆転できる位置だね。those two, it looked like they would easily surpass a million dollars. She looks so fucking disappointed. Myon's tone of voice was grim from the get-go. It was her disappointment and disgust as club president. <laughs> Rika-chan gently pet my head. Still, she wasn't too happy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, how am I supposed to make a comeback with this game relying entirely on luck? Right, Neon? Neon's face, however, was almost unbelievably indifferent, like she was watching something completely unexciting. She then turned her back without saying a word. Oh, oh, Neon. It was a pathetic voice that irked even myself. <laughs> ん。本気ってなんだよ。気合で待ってよ。ミオン in a bad mood cast me aside and disappeared into the depths of the shop. Maybe it was because it had become an awkward situation, but the spectators dispersed from around my table. Damn it. Are you saying I'm, are you saying I'm not serious about this? Are you saying if I were if I were serious, I would have settled this game in the uh, this game of chance in 10 seconds? If I were serious. If I were serious. Everybody was praying for my victory. They believed in me. Did I did I betray their expectations? Was it because I, I wasn't serious? Ugh. The two of them were timidly trying to resume play. I didn't respond to that. The table sunk into silence. The owner thinking I was forfeiting started to announce the cancellation of the game. At that moment, the demon inside me let loose a howl and awakened. I get it now, Mion. What it means for me to be serious. I'll show you! Bam! I clamp my hands on their shoulders, speaking in a low voice after pulling them closer. The two of them, not immediately understanding what I had just said or the meaning behind it, were momentarily confused.話は最後まで聞け。お前らの望みは何だ。優勝して5万円か。そりゃそうですよ。5万なんて大金。二度とないチャンスですよ。仮に優勝したとしてもお前らその5万で何をする。どんな楽しみ方をする。The お菓子とか、ジュースとか。小さい、小さい。バカか、お前ら。<笑><笑> 
じゃあ前原さんが勝ったらどんな楽しみ方があるって言うんですか俺かそこが本題だ今から言うことを黙って聞け We collect members of a penalty game separate from the casual participants. If we lose, we have to obey a single command from the winner. From another point of view, the winner earns the prize of being able, of being able to order the, club, the other club members around. Well, Tomita, you are a Satoko Moe. 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 I drew the two of them red faced and conscious. Of whether everybody else heard what I just said even closer. Isoza! Uh, Moe! Otoko no Sui Sen, Otoko no Roman! Tatoe Nara, A ni Tatoe Tsuke Nai Eden no Sono! Oh my god! Dako to Mezasun Daro? Sore wa Ore Tachi no Hato ni Atsui Tamashi ga Moe yo to Sakebu Kara da! This is such an early 2000s game, holy shit. That sensitive age where you couldn't say you liked the girl you liked. Understanding that gave me all the more power. I was the winner of the match. Satoko, one day, I'll put it on the head of your brother. I'll put it on the head. A red fountain spewed from both Tomitake, uh, Tomitake, uh, sorry, Tomitake's nostrils. And Okamura, I'll put it on you to get you out of the house with Nekomi and Mirika. I'll put it on you. Blood erupted from the vein in Okamura Kun's forehead. Then I suddenly lowered the tone of my voice. I was in a high school environment. それがどんなにつまらなく人生の大切な時間を浪費したことになるのかだから後輩のお前たちにはそんな時間を過ごしてほしくないんだよ<笑>自分に素直になれ夢を追えそして叶えろ俺が叶えてやる俺がだ It was this moment that the valleys of men bridged generations Did I ever have a mentor who? Sorry, did I ever have a mentor who ever spoke my mind for me so strongly? Oh my god! <clears throat> Never. There was no way there was. That's because in a man's lifetime, he'll only have three fateful encounters. <laughs> that valuable first time was being experienced right in this, right this moment with these two. Yeah, Ina. He's fucking bribing them. Ikso. Se no. It was such an assertive declaration of the game's ending that everybody in the store turned and looked. It had been less than three minutes since I was on the verge of forfeit, and all of the spectators were certain of my loss. Ikso, do you know what happened? The victory was. I'm the complete victor. あの状況どうやってひっくり返しましたの家庭なんか必要ないよな男と男の決着だよなああみんなうわすげえ<笑> A gentleman's agreement The two of them stifling tears of gratitude answered strongly from the bottom of their hearts Exactly what kind of miracle occurred here during these three min- during those three minutes uh, the spectators all looked away from my utter disadvantage Oh, I thought he was going to follow it up with something. <laughs> the spectators were puzzled at how I, was, how I was able to so quickly overcome that hopeless situation. That guy is able to control the spinner, <clears throat> the spinner wheel with his eyes or something. It's a miracle. What devilry this is. <laughs> He's in cahoots with that Mion, you know. There's no doubt he had some, uh, some strange trick up his sleeve. I looked at the crowd who couldn't help but be excited out of the corner of my eye. Now fully awakened and in battle mode, I let out a derisive laugh. This is my real reason, Mion. Heh. Teach me. 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 Teach me.
これで部活メンバーが全員1回戦突破ですわねということは今度はみんなで対決だね対決だね僕はもう賞金で買うものを決めていますです<笑>もちろんですわねえサトコインのねなスマイルスニールドアリチャダー These guys. And once again, because we haven't seen it、uh, in this outfit since、uh, the last game. They really think they can win against Keiichi Maebara when he gets serious. Mio, spy that time. Oh, my, I was like, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. あたしに勝つなんて100万光年早いってミオ光年は距離の単位だぞあわずばってせいなあーケイチー read my mind おう she's embarrassed she's embarrassed どうするのミーちゃん<笑> 5人でどう戦うのかな<笑>かなこれだけ豪華な面々が揃ったんだからね。今日という日を急ぐのが惜しいよ。みーの言ってる意味が難しいです。まさかてめえ。ミオンズ hair flowed elegantly almost like a cape as she turned her back to the table。今日の勝負を部長はその時ミオンが預からせてもらうよ。勝負方法と日時は未定ギャラリーは多い方がいいね雛見沢も沖宮も全ての人間の目の前でこれ以上ないくらい徹底的な決着をつけてあげるよ逃げる気ですのいくらミオンさんでも卑怯ですことよ<笑>ひよこが生かされたことにまだ気づかんか<laughs> the competitive aura billowing out of Mion's body formed a barrier stopping Santoko's advance. Mata i m a s h o Seize, Kubide m a r a t o k u t o n e With a shrill laugh, Mion left the store. After a moment of silence, the crowd erupted in cheers, or into cheers. When will they resume the contest? Mion serious. The other members did great too. That new guy, Maebara. He's got some strange power. He turned the tables in an instant. <laughs> My god. <laughs> the part of the crowd that had apparently overheard the covenant between Tomita,、uh, Tomita kun and myself erupted into a cheer again. Mion's going to win, anyways. She's the undefeated Empress. I'm betting on Mion. No, it's gonna be Urena with that ungodly speed. Satoko, the trap artist. Rika, the siren. It may be a long shot, but it'll be Maebara. However, right now, I had no fear. Sorry, I had no ear for those, for those cheerful voices. Setting the stage for this huge match and then running away like that. I wasn't gonna forgive Mion. Outside the store, Mion was getting on her bike as the shop owner was seeing her off. Get up, Mion! Like you would see in a sketch comedy show, my legs slipped in the opposite directions until I was doing the splits. Kate Kun got games to do, I don't need me to need them. I got them. So, then, 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 ついてないよおじさんの店でさ特売にお客が殺到してるらしくてさレジが足りないから助けてって電話があったんだようんおじさんってなんだスーパーの店長でもやってんのかささやかなお店だけどね I don't think we've seen this image either actually or this uh <clears throat> portrait of her
Like, just me on smiling like that? I don't think we've ever seen it. <laughs> I was a little surprised. You'd never think that this was the club president exuding such a dark aura inside the store just a short time ago. It was the usual meal in right now, almost ex uh, exasperatingly so. My shoulders slumped. Hmm. That's right, club mode was over now. But, it was really heated today. It really was fun. Neon, she really knows how to fire people up. あたまがじんじんしびれるくらい燃え上がったよ。特にけいちゃん。怖かった。あの場で本当に噛み殺されるんじゃないかって思ったね。お仕事だから仕方ないけど、本当に残念だね。この続き本当にやりたいですわね。
死んで後悔することになるから<笑> Mion laughed after sorry Mion laughed after after saying such an ominous line Everybody laughed heartily along with her 大勢では神様に男にしてもらえるように頼めよ俺も男にしてもらうから<笑>そしたらケイちゃんと組んで軽く全国制覇から始めようかね<笑><笑> Mion chan, if you don't get going soon, the shop owner、uh, the shop owner told her meekly. A lot of us looked like we were having a lot of fun, so it must have been hard to put a wet blanket on things. Jane, Kyo was so cool, you know, Shikata. The Higurashi. But I mean, I still got good at. Bye, don't you go soon, I are. Everybody waved their hands and watched as Mion left. Before I knew it, the sun was already setting, and the breeze carried a hint of a chill. The wind blew gently, as if to cool down those of us flushed with enthusiasm. Also, I forgot the, to show、uh, this scene off. <clears throat> But here it is, just normally. Then, the console version, which we didn't see. Although, this scene looks familiar. Kind of like,、uh, like the one from Oishi san, when he was、uh, walking and like, with the director. I believe it might have been the same scene. Or at least the same console background, maybe? I don't know. Also, that green car, I don't know where the fuck it's coming out of. But that doesn't look like a street with the way things are drawn. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's why there's like a nice charm to. Well, this. <clears throat> the road back to Hinamizuwa was long, but I didn't really mind. So, so. Lena san, a s h o u d e g o z a i m a s t a ne? Lena ga ana cha. Waru i keto dare ni mo katsume wa nai na. どこまで計算づくでどこまでが天然なのかリカちゃんの行く末が実に怖いな。I think we've seen that face before, but not with that pose. Or maybe we have. It's a little weird. The console version is a little weird. Tomita to Kamura ni nani ka yakusoku shite mashita desu. Kitta naisho banashi na no desu yo. Naisho banashi. Naisho banashi. <laughs> Desperately laughing, I frantically tried to avoid the subject. After that, everybody continued to praise each other for how they defeated their opponents and reflected on how fun today was. Oh, and then this background's new with the sun setting. If we change it back to the console version. Here it looks a lot more like a sunset. This one's really nice. The mountain in the background looks so, so, so nice. Oh, and then the other mountain in the background behind the trees. I didn't even notice that at first. <clears throat> It's crazy. Good stuff. Satoko getting even more excited pointed. 
waiting where her uh, sorry waiting where her finger indicated was an immense sunset casting even longer shadows of us on our bikes the cries of the higurashi were gentle and very comforting tip so that is the end of the of this chapter huh okay well let's view the new tip so who's Mion's uncle hmm hmm sorry <laughs> Mion put her hands together in apology and grinned. The club locker was the transdimensional space from which Mion pulled games whenever we met for club activities. I wonder how many freaking games could be stored in the in the locker. It was even smaller than the one with the cleaning supplies in it. Besides those games, it was also a cornucopia of suspicious objects, costumes for punishment games. If we lined them up on the floor in order to sort them, they would definitely fill the entire classroom. <laughs> Mion gave a hearty laugh, implying that the only one who could do so was the club president. Me? <laughs> Mion said, feeling about about in her pocket. Judging by her expression, she must have planned on returning it, but it was still in her pocket. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to hear uh, Erika use Bokumo to refer to herself. Hmm. Giggling, Satoko and Rika-chan clapped their hands together in celebration. Yakamashi! <laughs> Slap clap. Mion elbowed Satoko and Rika-chan in their heads, then headed for the teacher's lounge. <laughs> The two of them made disappointed faces. Whatever anyone said, Mion's club was always the number one thing I looked forward to when going to school. It wasn't hard to agree with her melancholic expression or with their melancholic expressions after hearing it would be happening today. Whenever Mion cancelled club, it was usually because of her job. However, it also didn't seem like she like she went there every day. She would go two or three days in a row, then not go at all for a while. It sounded like a pretty damn random part uh, part-time job. Mion wearing socks and a helmet sweating to death in a factory. I couldn't imagine such a thing. Mion <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I get it. Now that you mention it, her having a job at her uncle's place. I think I've heard about that before. She has a lot of uncles who own shops? A lot of them? Okinomiya, Mion-san's friend's house, there are a lot of 
うんへえそれは知らなかったそんなにいろいろあるのかええー、パン屋さんとか八百屋さんとかラーメン屋さんとか他にもまだまだあの部活をやったおもちゃ屋さんもそうなんですのよ I was dumbfounded. Amazing. ミオンの一族って何気に詳細があるんじゃないのかそれだけいろいろあるってのもなんだかすごいよな他にもサラキン屋さんとか地上げ屋さんとかイメクラ屋さんとか<笑>ソープランド屋さんとか A dude where you can like rent land from. I don't know what you're doing. Uh huh. Okay, a couple of weird things came up that time, but, but still, I could tell it was pretty extensive. I don't know if you're going to be a good thing. I don't know if you're going to be a good thing. I don't know if you're going to be a good thing. 耳を揃えて解散と身売りして風呂に沈めたるどとすごまれましたのです What? Pay me back or I'll prostitute you? <laughs> Rika-chan being sold into the entertainment industry to pay off her debts Ah crap, my no... Oh my god お風呂に沈められて溺れ死ぬなんてお前の気にもほどがありますわね Uh... uh huh? She doesn't really get it, does she? Recently, she seems so unspoiled. Rika chan and I gave her a pat on the head. <laughs> Satoko was lost in confusion, but she seemed to understand that she was being made fun of. <laughs> And that's our first tip of the chapter.